What is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to another NBA trade deadline trade that went down on the 6th, and that was Harrison Barnes getting traded mid-game to the Sacramento Kings. So I feel like um, this is kind of like the Otto Porter trade for me. I'm not going to make a whole video about it, but I'm going to give my thoughts on both sides of the trade in this video as like we simulate to the uh, rest of the season. You're not going to get a new look Cavs rebuild, or Cavs, wow, a new look Mavericks rebuild. I have no idea why I said Cavs, but this is going to be the only one you'll get at this, just because I also just did a... Mavericks rebuild with the Kristaps trade, so I'm not going to do another one right now, but um, actually, let me just see what the starting lineup is going to look like with Barnes in it. Okay, so Barnes getting minutes. We'll just let the CPU do it. But yeah, I like this trade actually for both teams. I'll start with the, I'll start with the Mavericks. Now, the Mavericks have not that many bad contracts. If you're looking at it, it's like Hardaway, Dwight Powell, and Courtney Lee for next year, which is going to take up about, what, 38 mil, almost 40 mil. I think Hardaway's 19, uh, Lee is 12, and Powell is 9. So I really like this for both sides, and the Mavericks side, they clear up Barnes' $25 million option that he has a player option this summer, which he's going to opt into. So they free up 25 mil, basically, by making this trade. They pick up a young Justin Jackson and a Zach Randolph, who they're probably going to waive. But Justin Jackson is still a solid young player who can give you good bench minutes. And maybe he'll develop into something, former Tar Heel. But now this makes Dallas have a possibility, before giving Chris up to Max, an, an opportunity to sign a Max for agent this summer. Now, I don't think they'll be in the KD or Kyrie sweepstakes. But I would really be interested to see them throw money at Kemba Walker. Imagine Kemba, Doncic, and Chris stops. And it's like, oh, Luka needs the ball in his hands. Okay, Kemba really doesn't need it in his hands. He can do his ISO stuff, but Kemba works great off the ball. Also, I'd really like to see them either go after like Nikola Vucevic or Demarcus Cousins um, to fill that center role. Obviously, Cousins, him and Chris stops and Luka would be crazy good. And if they pick up Vucevic, who's not the best defender in the world, Chris stops can help complement him on de uh, defense because Chris stops was a really good defender before he got hurt. And he's a really good offensive player in Vucevic. So I'd like to see them now, since they'll have money, go after a pretty big free agent. I don't think like Kawhi or KD would go to Dallas. Maybe KD, I don't know. But I really don't see why Kyrie would go to Dallas either. I know somebody likes said that. But yeah, I'd really like to see them go either after Kemba, uh, Cousins, or Vucevic. But we'll see. So Luka Doncic, rookie of the year. I keep, uh, so that was like my K or the map side of it. And the Kings side of it, the Kings aren't a free agency destination. As much as we'd like to see them re-sign Cousins in the summer, or, I don't know, pick up a Vucevic or something like that, or trade for Anthony Day, I don't freaking know. I know the Knicks inquired about the Kings uh, for De'Aaron Fox for Kristaps, but they were like, nah. But I wonder if the Knicks offered maybe Marvin Bagley. But the Kings, they weren't going to sign anybody either. Now, Barnes, I mean, they're. I would have rather see them like go after an upgrade at center over like a Willie Coley Stein, who isn't performing terror, or he's playing solid this year, like at least statistically, but I don't really know if he'll be there next year. And I'd like them just maybe to find an upgrade. Barnes, he'll be the starting small forward, and Bogdanovich, um, I don't I don't think he was the starting uh, small forward. I think it, it's Bielinsa, right? Or is he the power forward? And like, I know, I think, oh, Shumpert was starting, and they were kind of, they were playing Shumpert and healed, but Shumpert got traded. Not a fan of that trade for Alec Burks at all. I don't really know why they did that. I don't even think they got a pick in return. Wasn't a huge fan of that Kings trade at all. Uh, Shumpert was a pretty good player for them, and it's not like he was a, a huge scorer, but the dude just facilitated well, gave you starter minutes to play good defense and hustled up and down the floor. But I do like Barnes. He gives you a good score, a nice second option or third option uh, with healed. Fox and Bagley now. So, um, yeah, I like the Auto Porter rebuild. I'm going to try to win a title with Barnes in the starting lineup. It's going to be very tough, but we're going to have to get a pretty elite center and hope these two develop well. If not, Heald could be on the way out. But, and this also, the Kings don't have their draft pick this year. They haven't made the playoffs in, I think, over a decade. So, you know, I, like, they're going all in. Even if they're going to be swept by the Warriors, it's still a success, a huge success of the season if they make the playoffs. Because a lot of teams are like, all right, the Kings have a chance to be the worst team in the league this year. But they proved a lot of people wrong, and they're fighting for a playoff spot. Especially because now the Clippers are going to probably dip out a little bit because they traded Tobias. So I doubt they make the playoffs unless Gallinari just goes off for the rest of the year. And obviously, I think the Lakers are going to get in as the eighth seed. But I don't know who's the seventh seed off the top of my head. Is it Utah? Uh, let me check. Um, I don't know. Well, obviously, by this isn't going to really show me well. Because Denver just dropped there. I don't know. Um, I think it's Utah who's the seventh seed. What do you have? Golden State, OKC, Houston, San Antonio, Denver. Uh, you know, Utah might be the sixth. I don't know. But even if the Kings are the eighth seed currently, I hope they get in. Um, 
And I hope they don't face the Warriors because they'll get swept. I would love to see the Kings in the second round, but I don't think that will happen. But I think it's a W for both teams. Kings get a good player. that uh, They're obviously not a huge free agency destination type team. Don't have their first round pick. They're trying to make the playoffs. So I'm a big fan of this trade for the Kings. I don't know. I don't remember. I think they didn't have their first round pick because it was the salary dump from like four years ago where they shipped like Carl Landry and like Nick Stauskas, who's gotten traded like four times in the last week. Uh, to Philly just to free up cap space, which is really stupid. So, lottery, our pick, we don't have it. It's going to go to the Celtics at 17. So, staff signing, Dave Yorger will definitely keep around. He did pretty good for them this year. Uh, if he underwhelms next year, we'll probably fire him, but we'll see. So, let's go to the NBA draft. Um, who do I have? So, I'm going to obviously roll out a lineup of Fox Heald, Barnes, Bagley next year. So, I do like, oh, I should have sent him to the G League. I do like Harry Giles a lot, too. Uh, could I maybe trade Scal two seconds and be a lean stuff for like a first? Let's see. Um, Alright, let me go to proposed trade. What does Scal have? Does he have two stars by any chance? Or was it a star and a half? Damn, he's only 73 too. I'm going to give up all three of my seconds Scal for like the 12th pick. Would they do 11? Oh, definitely not. Because um, I'm going to actually try to keep a lean to two. Uh, he's, pretty, he's been pretty efficient for the Kings this year. Uh, let's see, 13, um, no, that's the second round pick. Magic at 12, damn, okay, what about, like, 14? Or 14 from the Clippers, I think that would work, so who's got 13? And then if not, I'll go to the Clippers for 14. Jazz at 13, okay, so we're gonna go to the Clippers for 14, um, which just gives us a lot of, really? Alright, I'll throw you another second. There we go, so we have the 14th pick, and I'll see you guys in rookie signings. Hopefully somebody solid falls to me. Wow, so I just got offered this. This is actually a really intriguing trade. But I don't know really how Bagley and Love would work out together. What? Okay, I might do this. Wow, okay. A 2021 top three protected pick in the 14th pick for RJ Barrett, who went like, or I can pick up Drummond. Nah, I'm gonna pick up RJ Barrett, because even if RJ Barrett, he'll be the sixth man, obviously behind Heald, but that's a pretty good pickup. And then I could always trade him for like an elite center down the line. So I think we will have cap. Um,. With Barnes coming back, I'm not going to bring back Farrell or Mason right now. I want to go after a center. It's a deep, and like Coley Stein, I can always trade too. I'm pr it's a solid deep. <sighs> I'm going to try to bring back Cousins. Can I, do I have the money? Oh my God, I do. Let's go. All right, Cousins, take 150 mil from me and come back to the Kings. Do it. You know you want to. Um, if obviously I didn't get him, I would go after like DJ, Whiteside, or Vooch. But let's bring Cousins back to Sacktown. Why not? So I'm, oh, I would have to renounce the rights on, no, I think I can keep, I want to keep Coley Stein if I can. Okay, I can. Yeah, screw Alec Burks' $17 million option. So we pick up DeMarcus Cousins, which is sweet. Um, I'm going to match any deal on Stein, or actually, you know what I might do is just sign Stein. What's 20 mil, bro? What? Okay, you know what, I can always trade him, so I'm going to sign him. Um, 20 mil will be about, so he accepts that. So let me see how many guys we have on roster right now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're definitely good. I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, guys, so I'm going to go to training camps, and I think I might have to trade somebody to just to clear up, just because we have so many. I might send Giles to the G League this year. Uh, does he have more years? Okay, he has another year in his option, so I might send him to the G League. Let's send on top potential to... Oh, I, I should have did my backcourt, not him. All right, we'll send it to Heald over Fox, because Fox will probably develop a lot quicker. So we're going to have a pretty good lineup. I am going to start peeled over Barrett though but uh Barrett will get pretty big minutes so Barrett can get like 26 we'll give 20 to Stein we'll give 19 there Bielitsa can get 15 okay so Barnes is gonna get like 28 we'll go 32 33 33 and then we'll go 34 I think that's pretty good and I'm ready to see what this team can do and I'll see you guys at the end of the year and I think the Kings should be back in the playoffs all right so we go 42 and 40 this year pretty disappointing former uh King Tyreek Evans was the most improved uh, I mean, I don't remember our record off last year. I'll look at that, but I don't know. Maybe Buddy Heal just in 2K just doesn't work out that well. This might be pretty hard, I don't know, to win a title with Barnes in the starting five. I mean, it's a good team. Maybe we just need, like, Bagley to develop, etc. So we're the 18 again. Uh, we did have our first, or we do have our first round pick this year, though. So we actually won one last game by adding RJ Barrett and Cousins. Damn, that hurts. Cousins averaged 19 and about 11 and a half. Healed 15. Fox 15 and 8, Barrett 13 off the bench, Bagley 12, about 13 and 8, Barnes 11 and 2 and a half, there's Stein, Bogdanovich, 
Bielitsa and Giles. Did I send? Please tell me I sent Giles to the G League. I forgot. I hate my life. All right. Well, I might be trading um, Stein anyway, so he'll be the backup center. Um, so we were ninth in scoring. We were ninth in allowed. Yeah, and point differential. I'm gonna guess we were ninth. Yeah, we were ninth in pretty much everything. Uh, which kind of hurts that we were the 8th seed. I feel like if we're the ninth best team in the league, we should have been at least the top 5 seed. But maybe it was just every Western Conference. We're tied. Now we're down 3-1 to one to the Rockets. And we lose in 5. Pretty disappointing. Um, we can maybe take a look on who played bad. I might fire Dave Yorger, Jaeger, whatever. Uh, but he healed. It looks like prayed. Let's see. Uh, eh, in the 5 games. Wow, we won game 1 too. He, didn't, he had 2 bad games. Three, two good games and one okay game. Actually, no, he had. Ah, he shot four for 14 in that game. How'd Fox do? Fox, 21 and 4, 12 and 6. Uh, one, I mean, we see still an 11 and 6, but one point. Like 18, 13, 5. Like, that's really good. Cousins, he played pretty well um, in the series. How did Bagley do? Uh, Bagley was alright. I mean, it's his first or second playoff appearance. And Barrett's first, he was okay. Alright, so the 76ers win it all. Also, um,. I'm really excited to see this Eastern Conference playoffs, kind of more than the Western Conference. Philly, Boston, Toronto, and Milwaukee, geez, that's going to be a really good playoff series because Milwaukee added Miritich. I might do a rebuild about that. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I might. I think I'm going to do a Miritich rebuild because I did do a Porter and a Barnes, and I feel like Miritich is kind of in that category as well. But I'll probably do that a couple days after the deadline passes because I also want to do um, a post-Tobias Clippers rebuild. Uh, Memphis has traded Garrett Temple. Oh my god, you can't do that. Okay, Memphis traded Garrett Temple, Jermichael Green to the Clippers for Avery Bradley. Um, alright, I guess, I think, I know Temple's expiring. He's, I think Green's expiring, and Bradley has two years left. But maybe there'll be a pick thrown in there somewhere. So we're going to have the 18th pick. Damn, I thought it would be Gasol or, um, Gasol or Conley. But we'll see on that. So I'm going to hire, do I want to hire Tony? We'll hire Underwood. Um, we'll see what he can do. So we get him. Can we get a solid assistant GM? Yeah, I'd rather go for assistant coach. Uh, Vince Carter? No, his ratings suck. Owen Taylor seems pretty solid, so let's try to grab him. All right, so we get that. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft now. Yeah, because I'm recording this at 152 right now on the on the 7th, so I still have my tweet deck up. Oh, my God! Wait, okay, Toronto's about to get Marcus Gasol. What the? Okay. Um. All right, well, you're going to have my live reaction for this. That's it. Well, just tweeted out, Toronto is nearing an agreement to land Marcus Saul. Hold on. Wow, okay. So I wonder what they're going to give up. Damn, okay. Sorry, yeah. This is kind of holding off from the rebuild. I guess it's going to be Valanchunas and maybe OG and Anobi, or like Valanchunas and a first, or Valanchunas and two first. Something like that. But wow, okay. So uh, Philly adds Tobias Harris. Um, Milwaukee adds Miritich. And now Toronto is like, you know what? We're going to one up you guys. We're going to add Mark freaking Gasol. Wow, okay. So, hold on. I'm just going to kind of process this trade, and then I'll get back into the rebuild, because I'm sorry. I'm kind of getting off track from this rebuild. All right, so I don't know what the trade was returned. Okay, so where are we right now? We're at the NBA draft. Okay, so I kind of want to see what I can get for Willie Cauley-Stein. Uh, Tristan Thompson, Daniel. Okay. Ooh, I really like Lucas Savinick, but I don't know if we really need that. So, I'm honestly looking for maybe a good bench pieces or to move up in the draft. Aaron Gordon. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, I think I'm going to try to move up in the draft. Um, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to see what the hell Toronto is sending for Marcus Saul. Uh, so Stein, 18th, 16, or 6th and 17th in the second round. Could that give me like 8? Okay, so that got me 8. I'll see you guys at rookie signing. Valentunas, DeLon Wright, CJ Miles, and a 2024 20, second round pick for Marcus Saul. Oh, that's a steal. That is a steal. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. That is, that is absurd. Uh, that's not even that much of their team. CJ Miles kind of sucks this year. Valanciunas, you're getting a huge upgrade in, um, uh, Marcus Saul, and you're losing DeLon right. Wow, okay. Oh, wow, that's, okay, that's quite a return. I'm probably gonna actually make, like, a formal, I mean, you're gonna probably see this rebuild after that anyway. So, yeah, that is just a wild kind of occurrence there. So, uh, James Wiseman on, uh, I did draft him. Jesus, I'm rambling here but yeah we do uh draft james wiseman with the eighth pick so he's kind of be a replacement for willie coley stein so we're gonna bring back fox bagley be i could always trade him and giles so let's go to qualifying offers healed and bogdanovich i definitely want to bring back um and i think let's see here okay barnes is a free agent 
And then those two are restricted. All right, so we are going to bring back all these guys. Uh, Buddy Heal's about to get offered from the Nets. Oh, don't do this stupid matching thing. Um, so let's... Yeah, let's sign him. I hope it doesn't do it on a one-year deal. Wait. Barnes accepted another offer? Bro! Are you kidding me? You were in a goddamn video. All right. Well, now I'm going to have to trade for Barnes. Uh, great. All right, so let me get Muddy healed. Uh, healed uh, Barnes decided to sign with the Pelicans. Wow. Okay. Um, Bogdanovich is restricted. I'm not going to rain out so much. He had a 37 minute. Okay. Jeez, that is a big cap hold. Um, and Bogdanovich about to accept a deal from the Clippers, so we get them. Um, please tell me Barnes appeared again. Damn it, he got traded. Okay, so what will... It cost me to get him back because I have to win a title with him. He's the goddamn title and thumbnail, so... Pelican trying to steal everything from me. Uh, Barnes, so give me Barnes. I will give you... Bro, you actually want, like, a decent return for Barnes. I'll give you Bielitsa. And... I might just sign. And I'll give you Harry Giles. That's the most I'll do for Barnes. Um, okay, and I'll throw in... Three second round picks because we have so many seconds. Four second round picks. Don't make me have to. I'm going to have to sign somebody and trade him there. Okay, so who can I afford? I can afford. Um, all right, Alfred Payton. Probably has decent trade value, so let me do that. And then I'm going to trade him for Barnes, maybe. I don't know. Just I don't want to deplete my team just to get Barnes back. All right, so let's do uh, Bielitsa, Payton, and we'll do a future first in 2024. Really? Are you kidding me? Alright, so looking at the team, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Um, what could I get for Giles and like Bogdanovich? I'm kind of curious. Chris Dunn, Gordon Hayward. He's making 16 mil now. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to trade for Gordon Hayward. Um, I'm just trying to see. Hardaway Rubio, okay. I might. Capella, I don't need a center, really. Covington's actually a pretty clean pickup, but. All right, do we have nine guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm going to trade Giles for a backup point guard, and then I'll see you guys at the start of the season. All right, so we're going to go to the trading camps. I did trade Giles for pretty much um, DeLon Wright, and I think I got a second-round pick out of it. So I'm going to send him there. Buddy Heald, honestly, just because RJ Barrett plays better, uh, he might start. Um, yeah, I might give Barrett the start over Heald. And, like, I would obviously love to play Heald, but, like, Barrett's going to perform better, and I'm trying to make the playoffs. I mean, I'm trying to win it all, but we'll see. Fox is, is he, he's only an 86. I was hoping he would be, like, a 90 by now, but. All right, so we're going to go 26, 19, 19, 14, um, 32, 32, 27's fine with me, 35 each, and then we'll go 33. So that'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and hopefully this team can make it out of the first round, or at least we can be better than the 8 seed. Yeah, I was pretty confident that starting RJ Barrett over Buddy Heald was the right move, because we get a career or video high, 53 wins. We go 53 and 29. I don't know. We might get, uh, I was going to say maybe Barrett is most improved, but now uh, we have the same record as the guy that got coach of the year. So maybe we are a 1 seed. I'm not sure. No Kings. Actually, no. DeMarcus Cousins will be third team. Third, yeah, there we go. Balled out. Uh, no more Kings, it looks like. No Kings. Yeah, okay. So, we are the two seed, which I'll take. We're taking on the Lakers in round one. Hopefully, it's not a repeat of the 2002 Conference Finals. Lakers got, obviously, LeBron. Clay Thompson. How is this in seventh seed? Oh, they're going to they're gonna beat us, aren't they? Oh, they're going to beat us. Uh, player stats, 21 and 11 and a half for Cousins. Bagley, 15 and a half. Fox, 15 and 8. Barrett, what are we just at the same thing? Eh, he was more assist, more uh, rebounds than healed, but some more scoring. Barnes, 10 and 3. Wiseman, about 9 and 5. Bogdanovich, and there's DeLon Wright. Points per game, we are sitting at 10th. A lot of points per game, we were first, and first in point differential. Okay, so let's simulate this current round. Can we, of course, they win game one. All right, can we please beat the Lakers? God, I'm going to be so mad because we're not going to beat them. We're down 3-2. to two. Watch us losing 6 because this game sucks. Wow, okay. Never mind. Uh, we win, but it had to be close, of course. Now we're taking on the Thunder, who we are technically better than just because we were in the higher seed. Uh, so we're up 2-1. to one. Damn it. We were up 2-0 and they tied up. 3-2 us. Do not go to a game. Oh, of course we're going to a game 7. Don't get blown out. We're going to be at home. Just please win this game. All right, good first half. All right, don't. Yeah, we're going to win. We're moving on. Let's go. We held on the 79 points. Good stuff, boys. And we're going on to take on the one-seeded Jazz. They had to have signed somebody. DeAndre. Jo How is that a one? I don't know. But we should beat them. Oh, my God. It's going to be Atlanta and possibly Orlando. Oh, my God. It's a 7th and 18. Come on. This is our chance. 
This is our chance. Okay, we win game one. Let's go by five. Game two, come on. It's literally a seventh and 18 on the other side. There we go. We're up 2-0. Oh, we don't need another game seven. We don't need another game seven. There we go. 3-0. 3-1. Come on. Go to the finals, please. There we go. We're going to the finals. Let's freaking go. And we're taking on the... And eight seeded Atlanta Hawks who have Vernon Carey Jr., Trey Young, Keldon Johnson, Bull Bull, Kevin Herter, uh, Chris Middleton, Thad Young, John Collins. Actually, this could be Trey Young. No, that's Thad Young. John Collins. That's a good team. I don't, I'm a little nervous, but we win game one. Uh, these are the two teams that passed on Luka pretty much after Aiden. Uh, Barnes jumps 22, game two. Let's go. We had a tough first two rounds. We might have an easy last two rounds. Yes, we're up 3-1. Let's go. And it looks like the Sacramento Kings are going to be NBA champions if I do win this. And it looks like they're going to be NBA champions. Let's go. All right. I'll see you guys in the game. Let's go. All right. So we're in the game, and the Sacramento Kings are going to be NBA champions. Uh, Turin Prince knocks that down. Fox, 10.7 rebounds, 13 assists. And we're going to do it at home, too, which is sweet. I want to get Buddy Heald in here. I don't really care. Oh, did Buddy foul? Oh, no. Buddy's in at small forward. Wait, let's get the starters in and then put Buddy in at shooting guard. Okay. Uh, can I get a screen, somebody? James Wiseman. Probably was, honestly, a big part of our team, too. Ali, wow, good, uh, steal there by heel. Oh, carry. Okay, out of bounds, so can we get our subs in? I want to play with some heel. Heel, 12 points, 3 assists. Um, I get Barrett a lot. I don't really get Buddy Heald a lot, so I'm, I'm excited to use Buddy Heald for a little bit here and just maybe play with some Buddy Heald. Actually, can we run a floppy set for Heald? Uh, yes, we can. So let's see Heald get off ball here. Uh, who's guarding him? Is that the Andre Brembry? That uh, kind of looks like him, but I don't know. Oh, he got open off the first screen. Money. Okay, just kidding. Uh, who is that? Number 95. That is Brembry. What other guy would have 95 as their number? Cousins. Good D on Carey Jr. All right. I want to score at least one basket with this team before like, we see who finals MVP is. All right, Brembry, what are you doing here? Are we just... Okay. He's going to miss that. Uh, well, now they have a French 14. All right, Middleton on Bagley. Uh, I forgot we had Bagley, too. Bagley, 18 and 11. He steps out of bounds. Bagley is a big part of this team, too. So this was just a minor rebuild. Obviously, the Harrison Barnes. I'm going to be doing... Well, you guys are probably going to see this on, like, the 8th or 9th. Um, because I'm going to probably upload, like, the Marcus Gasol video today. Um, I'll probably at least the Marcus Gasol rebuild. Unless somebody bigger gets traded. But the only person I can see being bigger is either Anthony Davis or, like, Kemba Walker. But Kemba Walker is probably not getting traded. And I doubt AD gets traded today. But you guys will definitely know by then. Because that will be... I'm saying this uh, 2 15 on the 7th. Wait, they have Tony Parker? Oh, I wish Tony got another ring. Damn it. But, yeah, we're going to win. Uh, finals MVP. I'm going to say Fox, but it could definitely be Cousins. I want to get one more possession in before we go to that. Uh, Barnes, you know what? I'll take a shot with you. You are the title and thumbnail. Bagley, give me a screen. There we go. Barnes to the rack. Okay, what a layup. MVP type layup. So yeah, finals MVP. My guess is De'Aaron Fox. It could definitely be like a DeMarcus Cousins, but I'm going to say De'Aaron Fox is your finals MVP. So let's find out in like five seconds. And it is DeMarcus Cousins. Okay, so we brought DeMarcus back to Sacramento. Imagine that happening in real life. It's not going to, but that'd be cool as hell. But yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the Harrison Barnes Kings rebuild. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you'll have seen the Otto Porter rebuild by now. I really don't know how my schedule is going to look, how I'm going to upload these videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. I'm almost at 10,000 followers. Maybe you guys can juice me there. So yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.